Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to kind of show you our 72 hour kit or our emergency kit or our bug out kit, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we, what we want to do is show you what we have so far uh, put together for, for our kit. Now, um, these, it's not complete. We're still working on you know, finalizing some of the details of it and adding some things to it, but uh, uh, for the most part, it's, we've got a pretty good foundation built on what we want to have uh, put together. And so, what I'm going to do in this video is show you the general overview of it, and then what we're going to do is we're going to break these, uh, the, break the subcategories into their own videos and kind of explain, you know, what we have in our system so that you guys can, can uh, maybe learn a little something off of it and um, kind of put your own emergency kit together. So, so let's talk about the categories that uh, we have put together. Uh, first off, let's go ahead and show the food. So. <clears throat> Uh, this is roughly 24,000 calories of food. Uh, that's what we've pretty much figured that we need for our family of six uh, for a three-day period. This, the, that amount of food would probably last us longer if we needed it to uh, because we, we overestimated what we need. Um, but for the most part, we're using really size and weight efficient uh, food items. And so we can carry a lot more than, than we probably need. So anyway, that's the food category. <clears throat> Moving up here, we have our medical kit. Now this is a, this is a level, this is a really stout level two kit, uh, almost verging on the level three, but uh, we don't have IV uh, capabilities and things like that in it. So uh, it is a level two. Um, and we'll be breaking that into its own video so uh, you'll see kind of what's inside. Now we also have um, our water filtration and uh, capabilities there, our storage capabilities. Each of our bags are going to have a two liter uh, hydration pack in them. And so we'll have four, between the adults, we'll have four uh, liters available. And then kids will have their own too. But we'll break that into a separate video and talk about that. So that, there, there's our water, filter, or water uh, filtration um, and purification. Now we have a tool section. Okay, so this is just various different tools that we're going to uh, use. Now, some of the, uh, not everything is included in this, but we just laid out what we what a good representation of it will be. Uh, we also have like a pack of cards here. That's going to help for entertainment for kids. Um, I have a, a, just a, a, a small representative of a, uh, a gun cleaning kit as well. That's not complete, um, but you'll see here why in, the, in just a second. So but anyway, that's our, our tools. We have fire, fire capabilities. We have a fire steel and we have trioxane and matches. Uh, uh, we have a uh, lighter in there as well. So there's uh, our fire our fire kit. Um, we have down here we have our hygiene and personal personal items. So uh, you know we've got a, our little babies. We've got you know diapers and wet wipes things like that there. So that's our personal toiletries and hygiene kit. Up above this we have our comms. So we have a couple of radios. Now I do keep the batteries separate from those um, be, uh, from all the electronics mainly because I don't want batteries to corrode and I don't want them to go dead before we need them. So, <laughs> so we keep all of those separate. Here we have our lighting capabilities. We have glow sticks and we have some cheaper flashlights. We have a Phoenix LD20, um, which is, this, this, this category is not really complete and, and we don't have everything here that, uh, that we will be taking, but uh, that's a representative category. We have our mess kit, okay? And inside we're gonna have utensils, uh, plates, cups, things like that. So our mess kit, our utensils, things like that. And then we have our stove, we have our, our, can, our fuel canister and an MSR pocket rocket. So that's going to be our uh, stove cooking capabilities. We also have MRE heaters. All right, so that's our, um, our food prep. And then up here we have two guns that are representative of the protection category or hunting category. Uh, we have the Caltech Sub 2000 and the Glock, the Glock 17. Now, these this doesn't include any ammunition or magazines, so I know that this is not a complete setup. This is just representative of the category, and we'll break that down into its own video as well. So, and then lastly, we have um, our our shelter and bedding. We have a we have a tarp, and we have a large wool blanket. Now, this is one that I would like you guys to roll into the comments and let us know what you kind of think about. Uh, what would be a good shelter? Because this is what we have so far, but I know that we're, we're, we're severely lacking in that. Uh, and w one of the things we're gonna be adding is emergency bivvies. Uh, I know that uh, Venture Medical has an emergency bivvy that uh, we've been looking at getting. 
and uh, things like that. It's just not probably um, feasible to carry a sleeping bag for every single person in our family. It's just not going to work. Uh, we have small children that, that don't have the ability to carry, uh, to carry their own bedding and everything else they need. And so we need something that will kind of work for the whole family. So if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and roll them into the comments. We'd really appreciate it. So, Okay, and then lastly, let me uh, uh, undock from the tripod here. Sorry about the shaky camera. <coughs> <coughs> lastly, we have our, our two uh, internal frame packs, and this is what we're going to be carrying our uh, equipment with. We have the Kelty Red Cloud 5600 on the left here and then on the right we have the High Sierra Avenger 55 which is a 3355 uh, cubic inch roughly uh, pack. So pretty much everything that you see here we can fit in the in the Kelty uh, Red Cloud. So we have a lot more storage capability in DocTac Mom's um, pack and then each one of the kids have is going to have their own back backpack with uh, several items in that as well. So we have plenty more room to, to store things with uh, but anyway, guys, um, this is just an overview of our 72-hour kit. Like I said, we're going to be breaking uh, these categories into their own videos and kind of showing you um, our thought process uh, with each one of those. So, okay, guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe up at the top and like and share the video down on the left and comment below. Let us know what you think. And as always, thank you guys very, very much for watching, and we will catch you in the next video. See ya.